First up, we have got viruses. Imagine a virus like a digital cold that infects your computer. It's a piece of code that attaches itself to a program or file, like a game or a document. When you run that program, the virus wakes up, spreads to other files, and can corrupt or delete them. Back in 2000, the I love you virus spread through email attachments, trashing millions of computers by overwriting files. It needs you to activate it, but once it's in, it's a mess. Next, we have worms. Now, worms are different. They don't need a host program or your help to spread. Picture a worm slithering through a network, finding weak spots like outdated software. They copy themselves from device to device, clogging systems, or stealing data. The Conficker worm, around 2008, infected millions of PCs by exploiting Windows flaws, spreading through USB drives and networks without anyone clicking anything. Next, we have Trojans. Trojans are the sneakiest. They disguise themselves as something legit, like a free app or a movie download. You install it, thinking it's safe, but it's a trap. Once inside, a Trojan might steal your passwords, spy on you, or open a backdoor for other attacks. The Zeus Trojan, active in the 2000s, targeted bank accounts, quietly grabbing login details from thousands of users. Well, subscribe to the channel if you're new here, and make sure to like this video. Before we move on to our next malware, which is ransomware. Ransomware is like a digital kidnapper holding your files hostage. It locks your data or your entire computer, demanding payment, usually in cryptocurrency, to unlock it. If you don't pay, you might lose everything. WannaCry, in 2017, hit hospitals and businesses worldwide, encrypting files and asking for Bitcoin. Even paying doesn't always get your data back. We have also got spywares. Spyware is your invisible stalker. It hides on your device watching everything you do, your browsing, your emails, your passwords. It sends that info to hackers without you noticing. Some spyware, like keyloggers, records every key you press. There was a spyware called Cool Web Search years ago that hijacked browsers, tracking users and redirecting them to shady sites. Next up, we have adwares. Adware's annoying, but less scary. It bombards you with pop-up ads, often coming with free software you download. It might seem harmless, but it can slow your device and track your habits to serve more ads. Ever installed a free tool and suddenly got endless pop-ups? That's it where at work. Next, rootkits. Rootkits are like digital ninjas. They dig deep into your system, often at the operating system level, to stay hidden. They can give hackers full control letting them spy or launch attacks while dodging antivirus tools. A famous one, NT Rootkit, was one of the first to show how rootkits could hide in Windows systems, making them a pain to remove. Ever heard of digital zombies? Botnets turn your device into a zombie. Your computer gets infected, and hackers control it remotely, linking it with thousands of other devices. They use these networks for big attacks, like crashing websites with floods of traffic or sending spam. The Mirai botnet in 2016 took over IoT devices, like cameras and routers, to knock out major websites like Twitter. Fileless malware is a ghost. Unlike others, it doesn't leave files on your hard drive. It lives in your computer's memory, using legit system tools like PowerShell to do damage. Because there's no file to scan, Antivirus programs struggle to catch it. Fileless attacks spiked around 2017, often sneaking in through phishing emails and running scripts to steal data. Keyloggers deserve a mention on their own, though they're a type of spyware. They capture every keystroke. Think passwords, credit card numbers, or private messages. Some are hardware, like a device plugged into your keyboard, but most are software. A keylogger called Hawkeye was sold on the dark web, used to grab credentials from businesses and gamers. Cryptojackers are sneaky thieves. They hijack your computer's processing power to mine cryptocurrency, like Bitcoin, for the hacker. Your device slows down, your electric bill spikes, and you might not even notice. Coinhive, a cryptojacker from a few years back, infected websites, forcing visitors' browsers to mine crypto without consent. Wipers are pure chaos. They don't steal, they destroy. Their A-Wiper's goal is to erase your data, 
Wipe drives clean, often for sabotage or political motives. NotPetya in 2017 looked like ransomware, but was a wiper, destroying systems across Ukraine and beyond. Backdoors are secret entrances to your system. Other malware, like a Trojan, might install one, letting hackers slip in whenever they want. They can control your device, steal data, or launch more attacks. Some backdoors, like those in the SolarWinds hack in 2020, stayed hidden for months, giving attackers free access to networks. Droppers are like delivery drivers for malware. They sneak onto your system and drop off other malicious payloads, like Trojans or ransomware. They're often the first stage of an attack, setting the stage for worse things. Exploit kits are hacker toolboxes. They're software bundles that scan your system for vulnerabilities, like outdated Flash or Java versions, then deliver malware tailored to those weak spots. Angler, an exploit kit from the mid-2000s teens, was infamous for drive-by attacks, infecting users just by visiting a compromised website. Polymorphic malware is a shapeshifter. It changes its code every time it spreads, making it hard for antivirus programs to recognize it. Each infection looks different, so detection struggles. Some ransomware, like Cerber, used polymorphism to stay one step ahead of security tools, evolving with every attack. Rogueware, or Scareware, is a con artist. It pops up fake virus alerts, claiming your PC is infected and urging you to buy bogus antivirus software to fix it. It's a scam to trick you into paying or installing more malware. Commercial surveillanceware is legal, but creepy. These are tools, often sold to governments or companies, that spy on devices. Pegasus, developed by NSO Group, could hack phones, read messages, and even turn on cameras remotely. It's been used to target journalists and activists, raising big privacy concerns. Macroviruses are a bit old school but still around. They infect documents, like Word or Excel files, using macros, small scripts that automate tasks. When you open the file and enable macros, the virus runs, spreading to other documents. Logic bombs are time bombs. They're hidden code that waits for a specific trigger, like a date or an action, to unleash chaos. They might delete files or crash systems. A fired employee might plant one to sabotage a company later. They're rare, but devastating when they go off. Rats are like giving a hacker a remote control to your system. They're a type of Trojan, but deserve their own shout-out. Once installed, a rat lets attackers spy on you through your webcam, steal files, log keystrokes, even control your mouse. Spyware variants, like stalkerware, are worth mentioning. These are apps, often marketed to monitor partners or kids, that track locations, texts, or calls without consent. They're legal in some places but can be abused. That's the full lineup of malware types out there, from viruses to stalkerware. Each one's a different kind of threat, but they all aim to mess with your data, your device, or your wallet. If you found this video useful, subscribe to this channel and like this video.